The real reasons that you can't sleep. The pineal gland in your brain makes a hormone called melatonin which regulates your sleep and wake cycles. However, if your brain isn't making or releasing enough melatonin, you may find it difficult to fall asleep, but you'll tend to feel more tired and irritable during the day. You might also wake up between 2 to 3 am with a racing mind struggling to get back to sleep. Unfortunately, sleep medications only provide temporary relief, but they don't address the root causes of your sleep problems. In this video, you'll discover the real underlying reasons that you can't sleep and how to naturally fix them with some simple, effective natural remedies. This video is for educational purposes only. Be sure to consult with a sleep specialist if you have long-term sleeping problems. Reason number one is the fight or flight response. The most common cause of sleeping problems is when your body is trapped in the fight or flight mode. This happens when you have high levels of cortisol, the main stress hormone which overstimulates your nervous system and it keeps you awake. Your body believes that it needs to stay alert at night for survival. You may notice you also have obsessive thoughts or thought loops at night, constantly thinking about your to-do list or replaying events from the day in your mind. When you're in the fight or flight mode instead of the rest and digest mode, you may also be waking up in the early hours unable to get back to sleep. Emotional stress, watching the news at night or a sudden shock in your life can trigger the fight or flight response. People like myself sometimes get trapped in this state for years, leaving them feeling exhausted every single day. To turn off this cortisol and relax, you can use magnesium, vitamin B1 and practice breathing patterns and relaxation techniques which you'll learn about shortly. 2. Circadian Clock Problems Inside your brain, there's a very tiny structure that acts as your body's internal clock. This is called the suprachiasmatic nucleus or the SCN. The SCN tells your brain and body when it's time to rest and sleep and when it's time to be awake. But when this clock is off balance, your body's natural sleep-wake cycle can get confused. You may find it easier to sleep during the day than at night, for example. Bright lights around the home at night and blue light from phones or screens can trick your brain into thinking that it's still daytime. As a result, your brain doesn't make as much melatonin, so it's harder to fall asleep. Vitamin D also helps to regulate your sleep and wake cycles, so a deficiency in vitamin D can interfere with your circadian rhythm, especially if you don't stick to a regular sleep schedule. There's also jet lag from travelling across time zones or working late shift patterns, these things can throw off your internal clock as well. Later in the video, I'll talk about how to resync your body clock so that you can feel sleepy at the proper times. 3. Blood Sugar Fluctuations One of the most overlooked causes of poor sleep is blood sugar fluctuations. You see, when you eat refined, high glycemic foods like sugary snacks, cereal or bread, it causes a rapid spike in your blood sugar levels. But once those levels drop in the middle of the night, you may wake up suddenly feeling very restless or anxious. This happens because your body releases stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol to help stabilise your blood sugar. If you're eating large meals in the late evening or you're consuming a high carbohydrate diet, your body has to work harder to regulate your blood sugar whilst you're trying to sleep. This can lead to restless sleep, night sweats or waking up with a pounding heart. Even if you do fall asleep quickly, your sleep is often less restorative because of these fluctuations. It's recommended to stop eating at least 4 hours before you plan on sleeping and replace any processed foods with healthy fats and proteins to buffer your blood sugars. If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on so that I may keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. 4. 
hyperactive nerves. Now, when your nervous system is overstimulated, it can be difficult to calm your body down enough to fall asleep. Conditions like restless leg syndrome can cause irritating sensations in your legs, making it nearly impossible to get comfortable at night. You might also experience nerve pain or tingling which can keep you awake as well. Other symptoms like tinnitus where you hear a ringing or a buzzing in your ears can be very distracting and prevent you from falling into a deep sleep. One of the main triggers for hyperactive nerves is a deficiency in vitamin B1 or B12 which can damage the protective coating around your nerves. Sometimes a vitamin B1 deficiency can also cause nightmares and very vivid dreams. You can help to regenerate damaged nerves and calm them down using supplements like magnesium taurate and benfotiamine. Reason number 5 is caffeine. As your cells use energy throughout the day, they produce adenosine, which gradually builds up in the brain the longer that you've been awake. Adenosine binds to certain receptors which makes you feel drowsy and tired. This is basically your body's way of knowing when you've been awake for too long and it's time to rest. When you go to sleep again, your brain clears out the adenosine and the cycle starts again the next day. Now, caffeine is a stimulant found in coffee, tea, soda and energy drinks which people often use to feel more awake. But caffeine doesn't actually give you energy, it just blocks these adenosine receptors in your brain so that you feel less sleepy. Unfortunately, caffeine stays in your system long after you've had your last cup of coffee, causing your brain to stay very alert when it should be winding down for sleep at night. It can actually take a full day of 24 hours for your body to eliminate all of the caffeine that you drink. So if you're serious about fixing your sleep, only drink a small amount of caffeine in the morning before 10am. I drink one cup of organic coffee and then try to avoid any other caffeine later in the day. I also like to take a sleep supplement at night called Performance Lab Sleep before I go to bed. This has a blend of herbal extracts that help my body unwind from any stimulation at night. I'll put a link down below the video to this supplement in case you'd like to try it out. 6. Alcohol Many people think that having a drink before they go to bed helps them relax and fall asleep. On the contrary, alcohol can actually disrupt your sleep. While the alcohol may make you feel drowsy at first, it reduces your ability to reach deep sleep and rapid eye movement which is the stage of sleep that's the most restorative. This can leave you feeling tired and unrefreshed the next day, even after a full night's sleep. Unfortunately, alcohol is also a diuretic, meaning that it can wake you up during the night to use the bathroom, further disrupting your sleep cycle. It also depletes important nutrients like B1, B6, potassium and magnesium which are all very important for calming the nerves so that you can sleep properly. For better sleep quality, it's best to avoid alcohol, especially 3-4 to four hours before bedtime. Boost melatonin to sleep deeply at night Now that you understand some of the causes of your sleeping problems, Let's explore some simple step-by-step -step strategies to help boost your melatonin, relax your body and get deep restorative sleep. Sleep Supplement Take a sleep supplement that contains magnesium, tryptophan and lemon balm extract 30 minutes before bed. These ingredients help your body produce melatonin, relax your nerves and calm your mind. Personally, I use Performance Lab Sleep and you'll find a link below the video for your convenience. Sleep Drink Alternatively, you can mix 100ml of live organic kefir with a few drops of lemon balm extract. Drink this 30-60 to 60 minutes before bed. Kefir contains tryptophan which boosts melatonin production. Whilst lemon balm calms the nervous system and helps you to fall asleep faster. Calming Bedtime Routine Begin winding down at least 45 minutes before bed. 
Turn off all of your screens and darken your room to signal melatonin release. Keep the room cool to further promote melatonin production. This simple routine helps your body recognize that it's time for sleep. Resync your body clock. If you often find yourself wide awake at bedtime, it's likely that you missed your body's natural sleep wave. Go to bed between 10 to 11 pm to realign your natural sleep rhythm. This helps you to fall asleep faster and wake up feeling refreshed. Vitamin D3 Take 20,000 international units of vitamin D3 daily for 1 to 2 weeks to resync your sleep cycle. This is particularly useful if you've been dealing with jet lag or a disrupted sleep schedule. Vitamin D regulates melatonin production and helps to realign your circadian rhythm. 4 to 6 breathing. When you're ready to go to sleep, practice this simple breathing exercise. Inhale gently for 4 seconds and exhale slowly for 6 seconds. Repeat this until your heart rate slows and your mind calms down. This activates your parasympathetic nervous system, signalling your body that it's now time to relax and sleep. Alternatively, listen to my guided meditation for stillness to help quiet racing thoughts and reduce anxiety, and again I'll put the link down below. Vaporized Essential Oils Use a diffuser or a pillow spray with lavender, lemon balm or ylang ylang essential oils. These oils promote relaxation and boost melatonin naturally. Avoid heavy meals. Make sure that you stop eating at least 4 hours before bed to prevent blood sugar fluctuations that disrupt melatonin production. Instead, focus on eating healthy fats and proteins for dinner which help to stabilise blood sugar through the night. Limit caffeine and alcohol. You should also avoid caffeine after 10am and limit alcohol before bed. Stick to one cup of coffee in the morning and avoid the alcohol in the evening for better sleep. Get morning sunlight. I also suggest exposing your skin to natural sunlight within 30 minutes of waking up. This helps to regulate your circadian rhythm and increases melatonin levels at night. Morning sunlight signals your brain that it's time to wake up, setting you up for better sleep later. By following these simple steps, you'll naturally boost your melatonin levels, calm your body and set yourself up for a night of deep, restful sleep. Summary Your brain naturally makes a sleep hormone called melatonin which regulates your sleep-wake cycle. But there are many factors that can disrupt melatonin production, making it hard to fall asleep or stay asleep. High cortisol levels can overstimulate your nervous system, making it hard to relax and fall asleep. Blue light from screens, irregular sleep schedules or low vitamin D can disrupt your body's internal clock, affecting melatonin release. Eating sugary or high carb meals late at night causes blood sugar spikes and crashes, leading to restless sleep. Conditions like restless legs, nerve pain or a vitamin B1 deficiency can overstimulate the nervous system, making it hard to sleep. Caffeine blocks adenosine, a chemical that makes you feel sleepy and can stay in your system long after you've had your last cup. And alcohol may make you feel drowsy, but it disrupts REM sleep and causes frequent waking throughout the night. By addressing the root causes of poor sleep and making some small adjustments to your daily habits, you'll naturally improve your sleep and wake up feeling refreshed every day. There are also other vitamins and natural ingredients that you may use to help you fall asleep as well, and you can learn more about these by tapping the video on screen now. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.